What's more, opening the privileged secrets of the universe, its revelations concerning the advanced exoplanet have space subject matter experts murmuring. These discoveries suggest fundamental terms of events occurring on a more profound level for an extended period. The mission for finding life beyond Earth has long enchanted humanity, and with the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, this journey could soon transform into reality. Recently, the telescope uncovered a captivating mystery in Proxima Centauri, the closest star system to us. Among its planets, Proxima b stands out, isolated with explicit artificial lights, leaving the scholarly community mesmerized and charmed. Could this be the long-anticipated proof of intelligent life beyond our planetary system? How do scientists determine whether these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on Proxima b? Join us as we dive into how the James Webb Space Telescope perceived metropolitan light 7 trillion miles from Earth. Individuals have always been intensely curious about the mysteries of the universe, and through technological advancements, our innate drive to explore the Earth and sky continues to push us forward. Despite significant progress, Earth remains the only known planet to harbor life. The well-established question persists, are we the sole inhabitants of the universe, or are there city establishments hidden among the stars waiting for us to find them? To address this enigmatic question, American cosmologists Jill Tata and Thomas Pearson initiated an adventure called The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence in 1984. This philanthropic endeavor revolves around spaceborne radio transmissions, which could serve as plausible methods for extraterrestrial communication. Despite extensive years of sky observation for reliable signs, there is still no convincing evidence of signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. However, recent reports from NASA suggest that the JWST may have detected artificial city lighting from neighboring planets. Is there any substance to this claim? Let's find out. The successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope marks a significant leap forward in humanity's understanding of the universe. Positioned around 1 million miles from Earth, this massive telescope serves as our window to the earliest times of the universe, revealing previously unnoticed insights and experiences into the arrangement of stars, planets, and other heavenly bodies. Cosmologists use the JWST's cameras and filters to capture and examine the complex spectra of various astronomical objects. Through the JWST, experts can gather substantial information about the chemical compositions and real properties of remarkable bodies in the farthest reaches of the universe. They achieve this by isolating specific frequencies of light. Beyond fundamental understanding, the JWST examines and researches the atmospheres of exoplanets for hints of life. Its remarkable capability to see beyond the limitations of the present reality has prompted some of the most astounding discoveries. For instance, through the telescope, space experts have observed more mass than previously known to exist in the universe, hidden in various colossal galaxies. This finding challenges earlier conceptions regarding the structure and extent of the universe. With humanity's determination to explore the farthest reaches of the universe, the JWST is poised to be an essential tool in unraveling the unique phenomena of distant galaxies and preparing for new astrophysical discoveries. Just 20 years ago, our nearby planetary system remained largely unknown, with no known exoplanets. However, cosmologists have since discovered more than 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, showcasing human ingenuity and technological advancement. According to NASA, this inventory may be just the tip of the cosmic iceberg, indicating the presence of trillions more exoplanets scattered throughout the universe. In the rigorous search for extraterrestrial life, investigators continue to explore the possibility of discovering distant regions beyond our current understanding. During the Galileo spacecraft's mission to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument identified a distinct spectral signature indicating terrestrial vegetation. This remarkable discovery marked the first time scientists observed a biosignature, the vegetation red edge, clearly indicating life by reflecting how it absorbs light. The JWST is expected to reveal the conditions surrounding extraterrestrial environments. It will accomplish this by carefully analyzing the orbital states of potentially habitable exoplanets located within the habitable zones of their distant parent stars. Once identified, these signs could serve as crucial evidence in the quest for intelligent life beyond our planet. As light passes through atmospheric layers, the absorbed light is differentiated into various frequencies by the molecules and atoms in these layers. 
this absorption produces distinct patterns or fingerprints that can be interpreted through spectroscopic analysis. It is hypothesized that when light from a star reaches a planet, the JWST will be able to distinguish it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Thus, the JWST will be instrumental in revealing the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets, a significant indicator of their potential for Earth-like life. Earth-sized planets with atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, similar to Earth, could harbor conditions suitable for life as we know it. However, the presence of unusual compounds or the presence of striking chemical mixtures could indicate alternative forms of life or even technological advancements. Interestingly, the detected presence of chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are man-made compounds commonly used for refrigeration and industrial purposes, could help the JWST in indicating the presence of an extraterrestrial civilization. If the JWST observes such manufactured compounds in the atmospheres of exoplanets, it will open new areas of inquiry for extraterrestrial development beyond our planetary system. This represents an exciting challenge for astronomical experts, opening a new gateway into the atmospheric compositions of different worlds and the possibility of intriguing civilizations. The potential for the existence of life beyond our planetary system is characterized by various possibilities that transcend the limits of conventional science. While we imagine life thriving in conditions similar to our own world, it could be vastly more diverse and extreme. For example, extremophiles, a fascinating group of microorganisms, thrive in environments typically considered extremely harsh. These resilient organisms can survive and prosper in conditions generally deemed inhospitable. Thus, the vastness of the universe and the diverse conditions within it remind us that our search for extraterrestrial life should not be confined to Earth-like planets orbiting stable sun-like stars. We should also consider alternative conditions and promising opportunities, such as exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, which are more abundant in the universe despite their lower brightness and cooler temperatures compared to our sun. They offer exciting potential to explore the possibility of life in different environments. The long life expectancy of red dwarf stars provides ample time for the slow, complex processes of life's emergence and development to unfold. Located about 40 light-years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system stands out as a prime focus for the JWST mission. This intriguing system, containing a faint red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets, orbits the calm red dwarf star. Three of these planets are considered potentially habitable and may have water on their surfaces. Although dimmer and cooler than our Sun, the TRAPPIST-1 star emits light suitable for supporting life on its surrounding planets. Among the different stars in the Grandio social class, Proxima Centauri remains a kind of reference point for likely suitability. Essentially 4.25 light-years, a very long time from the Sun, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our own. However, its weak shimmer suggests that any nice planet circling it should keep a nearby distance. The distance of any legitimate planet to Proxima Centauri should be, on different events, closer than Earth is to the Sun. Without meeting this condition, none of its planets can keep up with life. Keeping up with conditions like our planet, in a charming disclosure on August 24, 2016, cosmologists tracked down a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth, found inside Proxima's sensible zone. This Goldilocks-like zone provides a sensitive concordance of light power, totally reasonable for relaxing ice for water and possibly supporting the seeds of life. Proxima b presents an enormous issue circumnavigating around Proxima Centauri, its host star. This planet, which is basically 4.6 million miles from its little red star, faces a huge number of difficulties in supporting life. Proxima b's potential is especially near its host star, exposing it to solid sunlight-based breezes that could strip away its atmosphere and render it uninhabitable. Regardless of these conditions, Proxima gets adequate daylight to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water is in a fluid state. However, the planet's nearby orbit presents extreme variations, leading one side of the equator to experience consistent high light while the other encounters altogether obscurity. The situation resembles the Moon's relationship with Earth in the planetary framework. With only 18% of the mass of the Sun, Proxima Centauri provides fundamentally less light than anticipated. 
combined with its proximity to Proxima b, only 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, Proxima Centauri conflicts with conventional presumptions, suggesting that Proxima b may not be a standard planet. Rather, it could hold hidden privileges. The JWST revelation of light sources, similar to Earth's artificial lighting, on Proxima b has influenced researchers to consider the credibility of extraterrestrial life. Astrophysicists conjecture that future reliable data will establish Proxima b as a contender for extraterrestrial life. The splendor anticipated from Proxima b is unfalteringly monitored by the JWST. On the remote possibility that these plans maintain reliable magnificence and are completed and supervised, it could suggest a convincing indication of intelligent life. While the search for signs of something occurring on a deeper level continues to spark stunning interest, it is not yet clear whether these models will ultimately provide obvious confirmation of intelligent life on Proxima b. A Proxima b may not be the promising hope one would expect for a planet so near its star. Regardless of the difficulties presented by its nearby orbit and the typical loss of its atmosphere to sunlight-based breezes, Proxima offers convincing opportunities. On the slim chance that it harbors a protective atmosphere capable of retaining power, the presence of an atmosphere on Proxima b could indicate the presence of seas and raise the possibility of life. The challenge to detect standard conditions on Proxima b has maintained the hypothesis that such living things would have the ability to devise sharp solutions to navigate the planet's extreme circumstances. One intriguing idea proposes sending large solar charges across Proxima b's day side. These sheets would harness the star's energy to illuminate and warm the endlessly dark and cold night side, potentially transforming the annihilated scene into genuine zones. The discovery of Proxima b has ignited a heated race among space experts to determine if encounters at star's face are seen from Earth. These movements could enable researchers to measure the planet's size and mass, determining its density, its rough composition, and providing insights into the materials that make up its stones. Aside from directly observing Proxima b's current circumstances, these movements provide snippets of data about the arrangement of its environment regardless of the situation and its explanation. The pursuit to unravel the mystery of Proxima b is fueled by humanity's unquenchable desire for information and the possibility of other life forms beyond our nearby planetary system. Another factor to consider is Proxima Centauri's wild nature, prone to significant flares. This adds a layer of complexity to investigating the fair universe of Proxima b. E. Cosmologist David Kipping from Columbia University describes the star as unpredictable, highlighting the challenge posed by its variable heating patterns. While rocky planets generally hold sunlight further and emit infrared radiation, Proxima Centauri shifts its infrared signature from that of its host star, providing a valuable opportunity for knowledge. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, acts as a hero in this endeavor as it can detect infrared frequencies. Proxima's remarkable infrared power signature will help us discover the realities of its current environment. The high-level infrared capabilities of the JWST are fully prepared to uncover the mystery of Proxima B's atmospheric composition and provide novel insights into the possibilities of life on it. Additionally, the JWST's infrared sensitivity extends the investigation to Proxima B's night side. Despite the daunting task of detecting faint artificial light against vast darkness, the JWST's advanced design allows it to perceive even the smallest sparkles of light. The JWST could potentially confirm rumors about city lighting on Proxima B's night side, even if these lights were as faint as those we use around Earth at night. Although Proxima B's extreme atmosphere presents challenges, it also offers an intriguing connection between its surface elements and celestial interactions. By observing the range of temperature variations, space experts can gain significant data about Proxima's climatic development. With its unparalleled infrared imaging capabilities, the JWST will analyze the planet's thermal emissions, providing substantial information about its natural properties. The JWST's orbit around Earth aligns with Proxima's orbital period, facilitating continuous observation of both its sides within 11.2 Earth days. Assuming that Proxima b has an atmosphere, the next step is to analyze its chemical composition to determine whether it could sustain life. Certain gases, such as oxygen, water vapor, or even methane, if present, are strong indicators of habitable conditions and potential life. 
Isolating these gases requires capturing and analyzing light rays that interact with or pass through Proxima's atmosphere, a challenging task. While the JWST provides crucial opportunities for characterizing planetary conditions, its primary mission is diverse. The telescope is primarily tuned to focus on methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor, although it is limited in its ability to detect advanced oxygen levels, a solid evidence of something happening below the surface. Despite its limitations, the JWST may still have reasons to search for other materials, including ozone, which can provide information about the energy levels in the planet's environment. Furthermore, the JWST's capabilities are not fully comprehensive, and its observations are limited to three of the nearer and more observable exoplanets. To conduct a more extensive atmospheric assessment, astronomers are turning to ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, scheduled to begin operations in 2028. The ELT is uniquely designed to delve deeper into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets, providing valuable data about their habitability. As we eagerly anticipate the deployment of future space telescopes, the JWST remains a crucial tool in unlocking the extraordinary encounters of the universe. Through its unparalleled capabilities, it continues to expand our understanding, offering hope for new discoveries and revelations about the mysteries of distant worlds.